Are you ready for a change? Are you ready for your life to turn around? Are you ready for things to happen to bring you great success, to see your dreams and visions come to pass? Then you are at the right place at the right time, listening to the Julie Tussie Show podcast. Welcome. And while you're here, please subscribe and leave us a good review. Also, let your friends and family know about the Julie Tussie Show. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show. I'm your host, Julie Tussie, and I'm so glad to be here with you. So we've got a series going on right now. I was um, sharing in the last podcast that the Lord just interrupted me while I was doing the dishes, and he said the word intention. And I know that this word is, of course, for now, but for 2023, he's been showing me some powerful things in 2023. So I wanted to teach on living life with intention, living your life with intention. Um, This is a prophetic word that the Lord has given me and so we already got part one done where we talked about um, we talked about the definition of the word intention means anything intended an aim or a plan and similar words to it were aim purpose intent objective goal plan desire ambition and aspiration <laughs> so that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to share with you what the Lord gave to me. That's all I can do is just do what he wants me to do and share with you what he wants you to have. But before I do, I want to remind you to go and get the Gary and Julie Tussie Ministries app on your phone. It's on your app store and it's simple and free, simple to download and free. And on that, you'll find all three podcasts. You will find the Limitless Live um, broadcast, which is archived. So there's many, many programs there where we teach every Sunday morning from 9 to 10 Eastern Standard Time, live on the Facebook page, Julie Tussie, and on YouTube. So uh, my husband, Gary, he teaches and I teach and it's so, so good. We do it at that early time. So it's it's always available for replay, but it helps to reach people who are getting ready for church. Give them like some, I pump you up, <laughs> give you some word and get you fired up for Jesus early in the morning. So we talked about, um, we talked about living a life of intention on uh, episode 204 and so we're going to continue and where I left off was the Lord gave me all this to share with you and he was saying that we have to walk in the spirit and the gifts of the spirit and be open to his downloaded directions corrections impartations revelation and wisdom this is how we live an intentional life and as you know intention is Uh, intentional living is when we choose to live a particular certain way. We're going to choose to live what the Bible says. We're going to choose to live uh, like we are royalty, that we are a priesthood and a holy people, that we are King Lord. uh, He's the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and we are Kings under a King. (laughs) So, we're talking about a life of intention. I do not want to be like a, a pinball game where life just kicks me here and kicks me there and kicks me here and kicks me there and I'm always in reaction mode. No, I want to be in proactive, proactive where I am choosing, I I am choosing how I'm going to live my life. I, I am choosing and you are choosing that we purposefully live. We live with a purpose and an intention to do what the Lord wants us to do and to be what the Lord wants us to be, right? So it goes on, The these are my notes, okay? This is what the Lord told me to share. So we are to be walking in his, he wants us to walk in his agape love towards others being Jesus in the earth. Agape love is the God kind of love. That's the Greek word for God kind of love, God's love. I mean, unfathomable love, never ending love, unconditional love. We should walk in his agape love towards others being Jesus in the earth, housing his spirit. Oh, I love that. You know, did you know that the Holy Spirit lives in you? Jesus said, I'm going to go to heaven and I'm going to send the Holy Spirit to be your comforter and he will reside with you. He is, he is in you. The Holy Spirit walks in you, housing his spirit, loving and feeding his people, glorifying him in and through our lives. God's intention gives us purpose and direction. God's intention for our lives. 
You know, we sometimes we call it destiny. We call it uh, purpose. We call it his plan. You know, we call it the call of God, the uh, the plan and purpose of God. God's intention gives us purpose and direction. We must create an intentional life. If we want to walk in the spirit and we want to walk in the gifts of the spirit and we walk, want to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost, we want to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. We want to walk in victory. We want to be an example. We want to have provision. We must walk in his agape love towards others, walk in the gifts of the spirit, be open to his downloaded directions, corrections, impartations, revelations, and wisdom, which all come from the word, you all. They all come from the word. They come through prayer. I mean, if you're hearing something crazy that doesn't line up with the Bible, you better know your Bible. You better know your Bible. And if it doesn't line up, that ain't God. But I'm telling you, God is good. He is good and he will lead us and guide us. He knew us in our mother's womb. He formed us there. He knit us together and he gave us our plan and our purpose for life. We are not here by accident, you all. You're not here by accident. Not li- You're not even accidentally listening to this podcast. You're listening to this podcast because God wanted you to hear what he told me to say. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Is that not powerful? You can live an intentional life. You can purpose to live a godly life and to live a great and fabulous life with provision, with supply, with dreams, with visions, with the ability to open your own business or step into ministry or raise your family. I'm telling you, God is amazing. So God's intention for your life gives you purpose and direction and we and it helps you to create an intentional life. So from the book Intentional Living Choosing a Life That Matters by John Maxwell, here's a quote. If I wanted to make a difference wishing for things for things to change, we wouldn't make them change. Oh, I okay. If I wanted to make a difference wishing for things Things to change wouldn't make them change. Okay, wishing for things to change, that's what he's saying, wouldn't make them change. Hoping for improvements wouldn't bring those improvements. Dreaming wouldn't provide all the answers I needed. Vision wouldn't be enough to bring transformation to me or others. Only by managing my thinking and shifting my thoughts from desire to deeds would I be able to bring about positive change I needed to go from wanting to doing. So ooh, this is a whole this is a whole box we need to open up. So if I wanted to make a difference, wishing for things to change wouldn't make them change. Hoping for improvements wouldn't bring them. Dreaming wouldn't provide all the answers I needed. Vision wouldn't be enough to bring transformation to me or others. Only by managing my thinking and shifting my thoughts from desire to deeds would I be able to bring about positive change. I needed to go from wanting to doing. I love that. He needed to go from wanting to doing. So if the Lord has shown you all these things, you have to live this intentional life part of that and one of the biggest keys of that is mindset you know that's a big thing we'd never heard about mindset when we were kids but I talk about the mean girl or the mean guy that's in our head who's trying to you know it's either self-condemnation or the enemy is sending fiery darts and lies into your mind did you know that every thought that comes through your mind is not necessarily your own and most of the time you don't even have to go live your life according to it okay so You've got the enemy. He's going to shoot fiery darts in your mind. You've got the carnal nature, which is enmity against God, doesn't want to believe a thing that the word says. It wants to fight that. And you've got your your natural carnal nature, which is negative. All right. We are redeemed by the blood of the lamb from those things. You all, we are redeemed and we must wash our minds with the water of the word. What does that mean? Uh, Some people would call it, quote unquote, brainwashing, not in the negative connotation, but washing your mind of those things. Do you know, before I knew Jesus, I thought in cuss words. I thought naughty thoughts. I'm sure you did too. This is how we're made. It, but when I began to learn the word of God, I would read it daily. I would pray. I would worship, praise, pray, and read my Bible. And I would memorize scriptures. I would memorize scriptures that fed me and made me alive. Like um, 
Romans eleven twenty nine for the gifts and callings of God are for the gifts and calling singular of God are without repentance. The gifts and calling of God are without repentance. I had to memorize that because I felt so inadequate and undeserving that God was calling me. I had to live, eat, sleep, and breathe that. I had to memorize that. I had to speak that out loud until it was part of my subconscious. It was part of my thought process. It was the thing that came. It was the scripture that came. Then I had to memorize, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Why? Because I felt inadequate to do what God was asking me to do. I had to memorize scriptures like that from early on. And so, so do you, this is how we, this is how we wash our minds. We are in and we inundate, inundate our minds with the word. We listen. Faith comes by hearing the word and hearing the word preached. Listen in your car, you know, Terry Savell teaches that you can have a unit, car university (laughs) if you go to work and you commute or you're in your car anytime at all you should be listening to the podcast you should be listening to other preachers you should be listening to terry savelle you should be listening to the anyone that inspires you in the word of god and let your mind hear it over and over and over and over and over that is what washes your mind and begins to create this godly mindset of living with intention living with intention not not accepting what life has to throw at you. Life stinks. Life is hard. Life can be overwhelming, but not when we're Christians, y'all. Not when we are born again, spirit-filled Christians. We live in the kingdom of God. We live a different life. We live a different lifestyle. We live a lifestyle of intention. Woo! I love that. We live a lifestyle of intention. We don't have to be like the world. We don't have to respond like the world. We don't have to accept, like I taught in the last podcast, uh, bad medical reports. Do we have to listen and deal with it? Yes. But what can we do? We can speak the word. We can stand on the word. We can stand in faith. We can pray. We can praise. We can trust God. Our life is different. I'm talking about, I am talking about living with intention, not living as a victim of what life brings your way. Man, let those things that life brings your way be your strength. Let them strengthen you. Let them empower you. Let them cause your faith to grow because you stand on the word of God. I'm talking about living with intention. I love it. I love it. Let's read this again. Intentional living, choosing a life that matters by John Maxwell. This is from his book. If I wanted to make a difference, wishing for things to change wouldn't make them change. Hoping for improvements wouldn't bring them. Dreaming wouldn't provide all the answers I needed. Vision wouldn't be enough to bring transformation to me or others. It took another step, you all. All these things that the Lord wants us to have. He wants us to be able to make a difference, to be able to cause or create change, to hope for improvements, to dream and to have visions. But we must Go a step further with intention by washing our minds with the water of the word and getting a new mindset, shutting up the mean girl, shutting up the mean guy, shutting up the enemy, shutting up the carnal nature. He goes on and says, only by managing my thinking and shifting my thoughts from desire or uh, this is what I want to deeds, standing up and proclaiming this is what will be and I will walk in it and then walk in it. This is what will be and declaring it, speaking it out. Shifting my thoughts from desire to deeds, would I be able to bring about positive change I needed to go from wanting to doing? That's what I'm talking about. A life of intention is not just wanting. It's not the want, it's the doing. It's the doing. If you want to lose weight, you have got to do the doing. You can want it, you can wish for it, you can hope for it, you can pray for it, you can ask for it, you can dream it, you can have a vision of it. But if you don't take the steps of doing the doing part. Oh, I love this. <laughs> um, 
Angela Craig uh, from Life and Leadership. I think it's Life and Leadership dot com. Creating an intentional life requires that we stop responding by emotion and start walking in truth. The truth of intentional living is found in God's word. Woo! I love that. I'll give you some praise for that, Jesus. I love that. I love that. Creating an intentional life requires that we stop responding by emotion. That's the ping pong table. That's the ping pong table. And that we start walking in truth. The truth of intentional living is found in God's word. It absolutely is. Learn the word, my loves. Learn the word. And your life will be changed. Change your mind with the word of God. Change your mind with the word of God. Well, this is part two of living life with intention. And this is a powerful word. I hope it has blessed you. Now I say that you are blessed from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Every bit of healing that you need in your body is yours right now in Jesus' mighty name. I say that you walk in the gifts of the spirit. You walk in the prosperity of God, not what the world has to offer, but according to his riches and glory, that you are generous and that you are giving, kind and caring. I thank Thank you, Lord, that every family member of the persons listening knows you personally. And I thank you, Lord, for the destiny, the plan, and the purpose that you have for each individual today, that they will walk in the fullness of it. Help us, Lord, to renew our minds according to your word. Make your Bible, make your word alive and rhema to us, that we see it in a a new light and that it changes us and that we are changed from glory to glory to glory in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for listening today. I love you all so much. Jesus loves you. Don't forget to go get the app and please do consider sewing into the ministry so that we can reach more people with this glorious gospel and the powerful word of God. But I want to remind you to remember that you only get one amazing, fabulous, and awesome life. Live it to the fullest, my loves. Live it to the fullest and live it with Jesus every day. If you're in the Richmond, Kentucky area or actually anywhere in the United States, I want to make my services as a realtor available to you. I work with Century 21 Advantage Realty in Richmond, Kentucky, and I love to find homes for people. I searched for a long time and had to work for a long time to have my own home and my own dream home, and I am here to help you make your dreams come true. I also love to list homes, so if you have a home you want to sell, let me know. Now, you may not know this, but did you know that you can be in another state and in another area and I can help you? So if you want powerhouse results, passion and integrity, and you want someone who cares about your wishes in a home, your dream, your dream home, I'm your girl. Just message me or PM me or DM me or whatever you want to do to find me. You can also reach out to me at the Julie Tussie Show at Gmail. And let me help you to fulfill your dreams in a home. Honey, you were not created to be ordinary, but you were created to be extraordinary. You were not created to be common, but you were created to be uncommon. You were not created to be average, but to be above average. You are remarkable. You are noteworthy. You are impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. Now, isn't that amazing? How many people tell you that? Only on the Julie Tussie Show. Hey, we're starting to get invites to go out and minister. If you'd like Gary and myself to come and minister, of course, we can do music. We can preach. We can teach. We can sing. And be a blessing to your congregation. Just reach out to us here at the Julie Tussie Show, the Julie Tussie Show at gmail.com. The Grace Girls and Company podcast and the Julie Tussie Show podcast are outreaches of The Voice Incorporated, a nonprofit ministry. If you would like to give an offering or become a monthly VIP voice impact partner, please go to tussieonline.com slash give. That's tussieonline.com slash give. If you'd like to go to Venmo, you can go and look for The Voice INC and also on the Cash App, the money symbol, The Voice INC. We thank you so much for your support, your partnership, your prayers, and your consideration in giving. Remember, all gifts are tax deductible.